Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Chia Hua Wang from Broadcom. Hi, everyone. This is Siddharaj from Broadcom. We present here external file support uh, with PISAI enhancement in Sonic. Uh, first, uh, let's uh, uh, define what's uh, external file in Sonic. So file is a uh, physical layer object, I mean, physical layer chip. Uh, usually yeah, supports physical layer functionalities with the exception of the MacSec. When the software support for the file is not in SAI or SDK, the file is an external file. And the external file support use the Gearbox framework. And we borrowed a picture from the Gearbox HLD, which is a few years old. Some terminology has changed since then. For example, the file SyncD now is called uh, GBSyncD, and the Sci-Fi API is uh, called PI, PAI, and Sid is going to talk about the PAI. Okay, so what is PI? PI is a PI abstraction interface. Um, PI was created to integrate external files into the NAS infrastructure. The way it is designed is this is an extension to the existing SI interface. So it uses all the APIs and uh, all the attribute that SI provides. So whenever you want to initialize a file, uh, we basically call create switch functions. And in order to create ports, we call create port functions. So all the, all the APIs that switch SI provides, uh, we basically use those for the PI layer also. So Broadcom has a variety of files. Uh, we have optical files and um, copper files. So uh, currently, these are the optical files, Agira, Agira Lite, Aperta, Barchetta, Barchetta 2, Europa, Evora, Milano, and Milano B. These are the files uh, currently has Pi support. Um, and in addition to optical files, we do have copper files, uh, who has, uh, which has uh, Pi support. And the, these files are Blackfin, Shortfin, Broncos and Giants. So, so the way Pi source code is created, um, there is a dependency with the Psi version. Psi header versions are integrated in the Pi source code. So whenever there is a change to Psi headers, we integrate that into Pi uh, Pi source code, and then uh, we make a new release. Yeah, file device usually has a MDL interface and the many files can connect to a single MDIO bus controller. MDIO bus controller uh, can be made of, made from you know, uh, FPGA and CPLD, but often you know, the switch chip has a built-in MDIO controller. And there's two types of MDIO access, cross 45 and cross 22. And the uh, PAI programs the file by read-write the, uh, the MDIO register in the file. So the MDL read write call, callback function are registered to the PAI using uh, two switch attributes when we create the file object. And uh, uh, if we use the, um, the switch, uh, switch built-in MDL controller, you know, we must use Psi. And the Psi already defined the two uh, MDL access functions. And we think to this in order to distinguish between the two cross 45 and the cross 22, we added the two more um, SAI MDL access functions. So the, since the SAI is used in SyncD and the PAI is in the GB SyncD, so there must be a IPC mechanism between them. So we added a RIP server to the uh, SyncD process, and then we made the uh, IPC client as a separate library. So um, this picture, you know, shows uh, there's both GB SyncD and the Sync and the SyncD, and then the ARC agent talks to both. And we made the when we build the uh, made the GB SyncD, basically we just uh, replace the SAI library with uh, PAI library. Because there's valuation of the PAL library and the X, MDL access uh, li library, there will be uh, many valuation of the GB SyncD doc, and we want to eliminate the 
the valuation, we want to use a single ZBSYNC-D and load the libraries at a runtime. So we add two new uh, JSON key to the Gearbox configuration file, and uh, together with the existing you know, libname um, JSON key, we can load the Pi library, we can load the MDL access library, and we can decide the MDL access type at runtime. So uh, on any given switch setup, uh, there can be multiple five ports. Sometimes there can be like 32, 48, 64 five ports. And um, there are up to 32 uh, five devices on a, on a MDIO bus. Um, so for a, for a mission critical application where boot up time is really important, uh, we need to make sure that Phi is up and running within, within a very short time. And in order to do that, um, we have a broadcast uh, firmware download support where one of the Phi's can act as a master and other Phi's acts as a slave. And then um, we follow a five step process to download the firmware, um, and then the steps are, um, we basically reset all the files, we enable broadcast, and we execute uh, the firmware download only on the master file, and then once that uh, execution happens, the firmware gets down, uh, broadcasted to all other files, and once, once that execution is done, uh, we verify whether firmware is downloaded correctly or not, and then we disable broadcast, and after that, file is up and running. Uh, yeah, uh, the Pi library uh, treated uh, each file as an individual entity, and uh, you know it works at an uh, individual um, file unit level. And we think you know we need to uh, have uh, another layer on top of it. So the because the gearbox configuration you know is at a system level, it's aware you know it can correlate all the file units and. Uh, uh, you know, the Pi, of course, will be used to create the real, you know, sweet, real uh, Pi object. And uh, the same layer, you know, <coughs> can aggregate a large number of files into a smaller instance. And uh, the same layer is on top of the Pi. It's aware of the, you know, the, uh, the system level configuration. And uh, the same, actually, the, the same layer presents itself as a Pi library, and you know, to the upper layer software, and uh, we said just talk about you know the five steps to uh, serialize you know uh, to to download firmware, and those steps need to, to be serialized among a group of files, and the sim the same la same layer can can do that, and we also build in some other function into the same layer. For example, uh, we have uh, interactive tools to debug the file at runtime. So this picture, you know, um, give you, a, you know, basically uh, the, uh, the uh, basically describes how we, you know, group uh, the physical file together. And uh, actually, you know, the the, the pi layer causes the pi to create the real, you know. Uh, PAI pod object, but uh, the the PAI you know it will tricks all the um, the object, but only presents when a when switch object to the a player software, which is SyncD, Redis DB, and the OK agent, and uh, you know the Pi layer will translate any object from SyncD to the real to the right PAI ob object. And uh, this is an uh, example uh, gearbox configuration file to show, you know, uh, there's for two files on the switch. So here we only see one file ID. So basically we treat two physical files as a single uh, virtual file. So, you know, um, this is uh, what achieve what we call the aggregation. And we also enhance the OK agent to support the AutoNIG. So for the AutoNIG, you know, uh, for the port with um, external file, the AutoNIG is configured on the line side port. And often the, uh, the file system side port and the, the switch Mac port are configured with fixed speed. So, but the, 
line port speed could, operation speed could change due to the, uh, its link partner. So we added a, a gearbox monit awk class to the awk agent. You know, the awk agent has many awk class. We add, just added one more uh, awk class to it. So what the awk class does is it keep, keeps monitoring the line port speed and uh, once some change is detected, you will you know, change the system side port speed and the MAC port speed to match the speed. And uh, those speed information also are installed uh, in a Redis DB you know, table. Uh, the main purpose is to uh, restore it uh, at warm reboot. So the, you know, the warm reboot would support uh, the autonic as well. Autonic on the uh, gearbox port as well. Yeah. So we also uh, you know, leverage the uh, Pi layer to, to support the warm boot. Of course, Pi itself supports the warm boot, and the Pi layer will help to restore various you know, file object uh, for warm boot. And the, uh, the OK agent is the only place it knows both uh, Psi object and the Pi object. And the, when you, we create the, you know, the gearbox port, and the, the OK agent will create a Mac to Phi port mapping you know, during the code boot. And this map needs to be restored during the warm boot. For that, we added, uh, add this map to the, to the uh, you know, Redis DB so it can be restored during warm boot. Uh, yeah, so as we mentioned uh, in the you know, previous slides, the Mac port to um, file port you know, operating speed are also saved in the um, Redis DB and the way which will be restored during warm boot. So we think you know, it's important to have some interactive tools to debug uh, some external uh, uh, file, just like you know, most uh, uh, switch ASIC will have some kind of uh, um, uh, you know, debugging shell, like the Broadcom has the BCM shell, right? So we want to have something equivalent, but we want it to be at one level higher, so we don't want it to be band specific. So we think you know, if any uh, you know, um, external file has Pi support, this tool should support it. So we build the, you know, the tools on top of the Pi, and uh, the, you know, the, mostly it just used the um, pi port attributes get and set. And uh, you know, the pi layer will have a new thread and creates a socket you know, uh, to receive the, the, me uh, the messages. And the, we just use you know, the Linux socket as the, a simple CRI client. And uh, you know, we just send a clear, I mean, send a text message to the uh, Pi layer, and the Pi layer will translate the text message into the the right uh, port attributes to read and uh, to set or to get. And uh, the result also will be translate, be returned as a text message to the uh, to the client. Yeah. Um, Broadcom is a. Uh, active member of Psi Sonic community, we contribute to the, the you know, uh, the community often. And the, the you know, the list of PR, uh, you know, some are uh, approved and uh, merged, and some is uh, under review, and the more PR are coming. And uh, also, you know, um, if you want to know more about the Broadcom file, and uh, yeah, please yeah. contact Broadcom sales team. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Any question? Thank you. Questions? I had a question on the, <coughs> the uh, Sonic picture where you had two separate processes for mm. Pi and Psi. Okay. I mean, mm. uh, I think there was a question asked earlier. If if the five was integrated into the ASIC, what would happen in that situation? Uh, then the, you only have one, uh, you only need the uh, SyncD, you don't need the GB SyncD. Okay, so lib, your libpy would be. Yeah, 
yeah. Sync D. Yes. Yeah. But uh, on the other hand, you know, your Sync D has needs to have the information of the system level, not the chip level, because you know the the Phi and the and the switch are two different uh, device, mm -hmm. and it's only you know only for one particular system on the board level you would have you know both information, right? So that's why we have the PAI, so we can separate them together, you know, separate them, and uh, yeah. Thank you. So this is an extension to the existing side. Yes. 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 <laughs> And all, so you validated this model on an ASIC with the phi's underneath, right? If you happen to have multi ASICs and then phi's beyond, yeah. So we, you know, we uh, we did try we did try a variation of the multi ASIC things. We used the pi, but we didn't use exactly the same gearbox uh, solution. But we did use Pi. Uh, we use something called, uh, you know, some kind of simpler method, external uh, Phi daemon, to to handle those situation. But uh, in theory, you know, that's no problem. Basically, we just make this instance in multiple, uh, you know, times in each namespace. Of course, there's some limitation if you are, uh, which is assume you know, one group of the uh, Phi is only connect uh, to a single. Uh, Switch ASIC. If you have, uh, you know, uh, uh, a, a phi which which may have multiple link, and some link connect to one ASIC, and some link to connect to another ASIC, then this model won't work. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you.